So we'll call the meeting to order to 604. Um, call roll. Ms. Fraser? Yes. Mr. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Midlick? Mr. Sharma? Present. Mr. Spice? Present. Uh, Ms. Walker? Present. So give me just a minute. Did you all um, review the minutes from the last meeting? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Looks, okay. good. Looks good. Yeah. I think they even sent an email out. So I think they good. They didn't. Yeah. You guys didn't send an email out, did it? I, I, I believe uh, someone did send out Ms. Muter, I believe, sent it. Yeah. Yeah, we got the minutes pretty yeah. quick too from the last meeting, um, <clears throat> just because of the controversies on it. Yes, yeah, I think yeah, right. I remember it now. So I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as is. I'll second. Mr. Spice. Yes. Ms. Fraser. Yes. Mr. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Sharma? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there anyone here tonight that is not part of our Church Street case? Okay. <laughs> then we can take the first case. It's the case at 9076 Church Street. Bonnie Williams, one of the members of the Bissell LLC. You should have the additional documentation we provided. The only thing we're missing is we are waiting for our contractor who's driving from Stowe, and he has an actual sample of material. Okay. So <clears throat> if there's anything else you need. So the color you're going with is still evergreen? Yes. Okay. And then you have... Late stone marked also? Is there excess? That's that's just the trim. It should be clear in that original. Okay. You know, in the overhang. Oh, it, right. that it's a small color, portion. Is, yeah, it shows in the white color. color. Really light gray. <clears throat> yeah, it's like an off white. Yeah. You should have a color sample from that's the original. Yeah, it, it's yeah. Two, two of them are marked. And so yeah. Right. So just making sure that we still have the same color scheme. Okay. Yes, yeah. No, it's just the actual. Material. Right. So. Does it say which profile? I can't remember which. Whether it was a twelve-inch cover uh, or the the lock flat, or the lock ribs, or the <coughs> yeah. lock flat pan with vents, or I'm trying to see if it indicates which. Profile. Right, that's what we're waiting for yeah. him okay. to. He's yeah. a little better with the technical questions than we are. But. Yeah, I think you approved of everything except you didn't like the panel rib itself. Right, so and you, you just wanted to see, to see a lot of agricultural, and we didn't yeah. want to bring that to the downtown <clears throat> right. right square. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know which. So, yeah, we don't. Do we have pictures of this new panel? You should have. Yeah. Well. I have, I have it's this one here, this marquee lock. Um, it doesn't have a, yeah. it, it shows that it's a, a flat panel. I can right. see that the connection would be hidden. Oh, well, yeah, I think that's supposed to I don't think I have that. I agree, unless it's, this is, no, this is one step. Okay, because this is just, 
Okay. Which which one is it? Right, and I was also wondering um, if we have a corner detail. I know he's not going to, you're not probably the right people to even ask this. But <coughs> there's a corner detail, and I was wondering, it shows that it's a panel on both sides of the corner, and so then I was wondering if it wraps the building at all. Yeah, it did. Yeah, he explained that last week. It would just go around the corner. By about? I think. Just. Yeah, like less than a foot. Yeah. So there must be a panel that's a terminating end panel that it'll wrap right. and then yeah. the yeah. panel, so it won't be just a regular panel and you'll see the screws on the last one. Yeah. There's a termination panel. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You shouldn't see any screws. Yeah, and it, yeah, regardless. Right. Okay. All right. Um, until he's here, I don't know if you can check on him with the cell phone. Yeah. Well, we're, we're trying with the email, yeah. yeah. Let's see if he's here. The cell phone we have is his work number, which okay. I don't think he's <laughs> um, Motion to table for about 10 minutes. We can talk about the other, uh, on the Ravenna Road letter that came, well, I guess. What I was wondering was if, <clears throat> well, I guess we probably should see the sample. Right, that's yeah, what I'm thinking. Can we take a look for about 10 minutes? Look, we'll talk about this other, and then we'll come back to it. Hopefully it'll yeah. be here. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll make I'll a motion. Second. Yes. I mean, I'll second it. <laughs> Mr. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yes. Mr. Sharma? Even if I say no, it's still going to pass, so no. <laughs> you just want yes. Ms. Yes. Okay. Fraser? Yes. Sometimes I like to be a little disrupt disruptive, you know? Okay. So then we can look at, I don't know if there's anything else. Do you have a miscellaneous on hand? That was this one. That's that this letter. Correct. Okay. Sometimes <clears throat> we see work sessions, sometimes it's a, okay. So, Miscellaneous, we have a letter that came from um, the homeowner adjacent to a case that we saw last week. Um, the tea house on the corner of Church Street and Ravenna. And so we should acknowledge that we received the letter and we have time to read it over individually. Yeah. And she points out some of the same things that we noticed that we're concerned a little bit about the size of it, how far forward it is placed, possible obstruction of view. For her personally, this is right next door, so it would affect her property value and her ability to resell um, her enjoyment of her property currently, and then in the future, her ability to resell. So I think that this is a, um, an important person's perspective to consider. She is impacted by this lot. You know what I'm thinking? The one thing I wanted to verify, because I don't remember seeing it on the plans that we saw. Was there actually a dimension? Because she mentions 12 feet from her house. You know, it, it was, did they even, was that noted on the plans that it was 12 feet <coughs> between the two houses? If my memory serves me right, they said that they had an easement, a side yard easement going through the property so they couldn't build up to the property line and I thought that that easement might have been 10 or 12 feet. So I don't know if the neighbor's house is built right to her property line or if when they mentioned that distance they were measuring between houses and not that the, that the yeah. e maybe the easement is six foot on each side of the property line. I really don't know and I think that before they would pursue this any further we would need to get a, a, um, a plan from an engineer the like a find out what the city easements are on this property and they would need a survey to know what they're measuring from because the homeowner measured from the center of the street but the center of a street isn't always what is the actual center because sometimes they yeah. add a turning lane and they take it off of one side versus the other they don't always relocate the whole street when they do things like that so the center of the current street might not be what we're supposed to be measuring from and I yeah 
I'd really hate to see something go in and then have somebody really raise an objection and find out that it is not within the allowable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and one of the when we were talking about a review, I know that the I guess the with the house coming out further than our porch, it will block the view down uh, eighty two towards the square. Right. And, but then I was just thinking in my head too that when she mentioned uh, lights in her living room, that she could probably right now she can probably see the square from her living room out the window. I guess you know in between the house on the corner and in between the. Uh, she at least has a view. The better Whether business. or not it's the actual square she sees, she does have a view down the street from her house currently. Yeah. And she won't have that view if this addition goes in two stories tall, 12 feet away from her house. Right. You know, I'm thinking too that from inside <coughs> her house in her living room yeah. through a window, she probably has a view on the, uh, you know, the north side of the house on the corner and mm -hmm. the. Uh, oh, the that view business. toward the square. I see yeah, what you're saying. Between, between the, the house houses. and the historical society. Yeah. What's the, is it the chamber? Is it the okay. chamber, chamber building? building. Yeah. Right, between the tea house and the chamber building, she would possibly have a view through there right now. Yeah. Which might get blocked. I don't know. Right. Yeah, but what if somebody else wants to build something? Up? Are we guaranteeing everybody in the town that we're going to be okay with the view in their house? There's also something about the percent of a lot that's allowed to be built on, and we never discussed that because they will have built on most of their lot between the the main house, this garage addition with the new yeah. suite above it, and all the paid, you know, I mean, what percent of the lot would be covered? I would say 80, something like that. Yeah. And we never did discuss that. What percent of a lot is allowed to be improved? I think that's another question that would need to be looked at. Okay. What percent of a lot is allowed to be improved? My main concern would be the decrease of the property value on this house versus anything else for view. Oh well, but I you're do talking about decrease of potential property value, not decrease of current property value, right? Yes, the potential property value will decrease based on you know the newer house being built on a right next door. Oh, you're saying the next door's property value, right? I would. I don't know if her value would increase or decrease, but it will probably have more difficulty selling. Selling it, yes. yes. So that would be a concern to me, immediate concern. Taking care of her view, that's maybe a secondary concern to me. Right. Yeah. No, that's. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, that view. Right. I mean, we're not guaranteeing her view. If somebody else want to put a flag in between your, you know, on the property, and their, right. your view gets blocked. They could plant, plant a bunch of big shrubs. Yeah. And then her view gets blocked. And yeah. She can't so. Do that. What's yeah. the maximum height you can build? Is there a height? I think it's a height. That you know? I think it, oh, there is a height, and I can't think of it right offhand if it's. I mean, there. Twenty-eight or thirty-five, something like that, because I know you can't put a third story on without getting up. Yeah. I don't now think the, the house the addition is lower than the right. uh, main part of the house. Yeah, so, so it's, it's not that part. tall. But mm -hmm. I, I was just curious as to other. Sorry, but we didn't pass the but we didn't pass the motion, so I mean the center line of the street doesn't change regardless where the stripes go. Right, so if he measures to the centers of the stripes, that may not be what is considered the center of the street. Correct. Yeah. Especially if they add turning lanes that moves. That moves around, mm -hmm. and the center of the street doesn't move around. <coughs> it stays at the center of the street. Yeah. And then, for the most part, uh, that if the street turns, then that usually turns over. Mm -hmm. So it's 60 feet, it turns the corner, it's 60 feet, and they went around. And we questioned too if he was looking at setback from the right of way or just the the right of way. Because with signage, I know that monument signs need to be set back a certain distance from the right of way. I Usually, it's, it's ten feet. Ten feet. Ten foot setback from the right of way. So if he's building right up to the right of way with a structure, we're telling people you can't even put a sign at the 
right away. That is a flag to me too that this needs to be looked at further. So, has any of you guys, gals, actually walked down and looked? I've done it twice. All of us. All of us have. Okay. I've, done, I've toured in the past. I've toured that house. Yeah. I've I've measured in that house. I've. And I went twice in the last three weeks to go see it. Yeah, actually, was out there one day. And, and you saw me <laughs> out there looking at it, we too. Both, we were both walking around. Yeah. I mean, you took pictures, too, last time. You brought pictures last time yeah. that you took. Yeah, I still have them, the yeah. pictures I took. But. I haven't gone recently, but, you know, I have an idea as to what you're talking about. But I've not looked at it from uh, Route 82. Yeah. You know, just yeah. you know, on Church Street is yeah. where I think it is. Right. This isn't heavily impacted from Church Street. This really wouldn't impact views or anything yeah. when yeah. you're on Church, Church Street. Yeah. Right. It's when you're on eighty two. That's that, that's where I have right. right to just actually look at it. And if it's it's if you're heading east on eighty two, that's the big concern. Heading west on eighty two, it probably wouldn't look so bad. Um, but heading yeah, east on eighty two is the direction that probably really already noticed it till you passed it. I mean, right. well, maybe depends on yeah. With the closest to the street, it might yeah, catch you. Would. You know, on your corner of your eye, go. Oh. <laughs> I'm on top of that building. Yeah. When when we let them put the ramp, yeah, where a sidewalk should be. Uh, we, we gave up on what we should be doing is keeping that, keep appearing the way it was designed a yeah. hundred years ago. Well, how close is the edge of the ramp to the street? Uh, it, it's uh, set back, uh, I think, like two or three feet. Uh, and not from the property line, or? from the property line. Oh, I would have, I would have yeah. guessed one of six. Or and uh, uh, it, to me, it would have been much better had they put a, a stairway in, in, in the back of the building, or the side of the building, and, and they move your customers that way. Where would they put the ramp? Hmm? Where would they put a ramp to get in? I wouldn't put a ramp. None? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, according to like business code, you, it, I know it's not to their main entrance, but it does get them into the tea house. So if they, if you had somebody who couldn't do steps. Okay. So I, I, I mean, by code, I feel like they needed to have it. That's true. Yeah. they're operating a business. Yeah, residential, you wouldn't have needed it, but for right. the tea room or whatever they had. Right, yeah, they were trying to operate more as a restaurant. Now they're not. It's now they're doing like private parties. Dual zone, like commercial and residential? I'm not sure how it's zoned, but so I guess it's zoned to allow student commercial. Okay. Do we? Need any more discussion? <laughs> I'm kind of milking the discussion here by using <laughs> time radars. Um, we had a miscommunication. Okay. Um, our contractor is out of state, oh, no. and apparently he had to date the date wrong or something because he could have sent someone else. So we wondered if it would be possible to just go. We can get a sample of material and drop it off at the building department. Two weeks again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, we don't all stop at the building department right. to look at stuff. Yeah. It just eats up. It just eats up too much time right. for us. For yeah. Because. So we'd be two weeks out again. So the pictures are good. We asked for pictures. These are the pictures we want. We wanted this overall picture. We can really see what the building looks like and imagine what that'll look like on here. Um, this is good for showing us, you know, the details right. of the back. So then. Um, 
this show, do you show us the color that you're right. intending to do? You turn yes. in renderings before. Oh, here it is. Yeah, right here. should still be there. That yes. shows us this. So then um, the only thing we, this shows us the connections and we see the panel type. So the right. only thing we need is just a sample of the panel because we did discuss this about okay. the panel specifically. Yeah. So just a sample of the panel and how it turns the corner and terminates. That, those are my only questions. And as long as okay. that looks good, and it doesn't, you know, it looks like it's a quality material, then we're good. Okay. All right. I know all three of you came out tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, we all, two of us live in Twinsburg, okay. so it's, okay. it's not too bad. So it's not too bad. All right. All right. All right. All right. We, will, we will call and get back on the agenda. I will personally pick up the sample. So I am. You can drop yeah. it off here early, yeah. so it's yeah. here. Yeah. But, yeah, we, we, it'll have to be back on the agenda again in two weeks. Okay. All right. So, all right. Thank you. So, do we yeah. table this? Till um, yeah, I'll make a motion to table the case um, till the next meeting. Okay. I'll, I'll second. It. Okay. I'll third it. Just got it. I'll, I'll third, third it. it. <laughs> the, the, the signs do not extend any taller than the base of A. Are they going to redo the signs at the top, like these borders? They're going to redo all the signs, yeah, that's going to, they mentioned that last time, that that's going to have to come down, and they're redesigning the signs to have different look. I'm glad they're doing something. Yeah, I know, it was like that. Mm -hmm. I look at it, I mean, it's missing a piece. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you call us off? I wish they sandblast or try to clean up some of them yeah like the brick them. looks nice but they, they clean it up a little bit you know yeah. this is a repaint i don't know if you get painted or like i don't know if the guy was do something may need to repoint it in places right. i mean because that well that looks like you it good? actually got regrouted um did we run a vote on that i haven't yet there but he you oh sorry okay yeah. uh so we take i somebody motion somebody seconded I second yeah it. yeah okay. you motion you motion. Second. yes i'm uh, miss fraser yes Mr. Sharma? Yes. Mr. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yes. I think we all agree on that Church Street house that we are all in a no to mm -hmm. add the addition. So I, I don't think we right. need to do more discussion on it. Oh, I, this will come back. I have a feeling it's coming back. And that's why I'm I wanted sure. all the measurements to be checked first. We have be to because if it comes back and any of those block it from coming, then it stops it from falling back on us, mm -hmm. which makes it a much more clean, defined decision versus something that could be arguable <coughs> and possibly then be taken to counsel above us if they really think that we are doing them an injustice. So I feel like we need to really make sure that the measurements were all verified before. For for the uh, tea house, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you get any more of this like this from any other residents, or is this the only one? That you can Just the only one. Well, that's the one that we've received so far from the government department. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't receive anything personally. <clears throat> so. Okay. I guess the chamber of commerce. Do they own that building, or is that? I think the. the Vegas, who owns the? I think. Uh, I don't know. Uh, does the city own the Chamber of Commerce building? Does the city own the Chamber of Commerce building? Um, I think they do. They, they, I think they may have acquired it, but would that be recent? No, I was just wondering if yeah. whoever owned that had any. You're right, they would be considered the next door neighbor, and if they had concerns. I don't feel like it really affects their property that much. It probably shouldn't because, especially the kind of business they do there, they're not there at night. They're not going to have right. lights from cars. And as it's shown. Lights from cars flashing through there probably aren't going to affect anything. Right. You know, it's not going to change any of their views anywhere. Yeah. Except maybe back to. I don't think it would reduce their property value. Mary's house. Okay. If no one has any other business, I have a question yeah. on this. Um, now, 
I see the laundromat and it has a sign up above the laundromat. But what is in these other? Because the Bissell's on the whole thing, right? Yes. Okay. So what's in these other buildings, rooms? They are tenants that have not put signage up. Well, are you going to require signage since the wet wash and dry laundry has a signage? That's interesting. I haven't thought about requiring signage. Usually people, usually a tenant wants signage and they bring through. And yeah. The fact that they have some sticker signage in their windows, yeah, right. that's... Looks kind of... I mean, one has a sticker. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I think that they're intending to put new signs up. They were, but before they were waiting for the material. They were, oh, right. Yeah. Once this material is installed as the background of the signs, then I believe they're coming through with new signs. Yeah, I think she had said the last meeting that they, that they were redesigning yeah. their signage altogether, their signage requirements. Right. So they kind of sign the colors that they wanted to use in the sign. Yeah, they were going to but submit a new sign program too. Maybe we can ask them to remove the existing window signs as part of the approval and to put a proper signs like uh, the wash and dry. Yeah, or something that yeah. everything will be uniform. Yeah, that, that's yeah, so we can make them even get an idea of what they think. Yeah. I'd also like <laughs> even when you look I'm joking at when I say this, but I'm thinking I'm like I'd also like to require some planted potted plants and <laughs> for them to weed along the curb something. line or possibly replace the curb <laughs> so that it looks maintained. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I was gonna mention that too because I'm looking at this and because uh, this has been around for years, this line this area for years and uh, yeah, it does need a facelift. Yes, it needs yeah, a few yeah. lush plants, and the, the only way to do I it is in pots. Yeah. But it needs a few lush plants um, that, although I don't know, does it, can you walk past them on the sidewalk? Is that an issue, you know, for accessibility? Well, I got those I benches know. out there that are right. sticking out on the sidewalk. Yeah, you think you can? Yeah, they do. So, it, you know, how appealing is that? Uh -huh. The, uh, yeah, and they're, Pretty ugly benches or whatever. Anyway, and the chairs they, they don't match. They, yeah, I mean it's like they put on the bed. It's probably the different tenants. What well, I, I don't know. I don't even know what it may be chairs they found. The uh, the other thing I was noticing too, mm -hmm. not to get picky when you look at it though, the for the laundry the signs in the window are different sizes, I and different I, levels. I think they're different down. type fonts too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which doesn't look real good either. But. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know how long though that laundry laundry has been there. As long as I've been there. You know, it's long time. Probably yeah, well, in the signage has probably been well, there for just at the same time. Yeah. Those two yeah, the signage looks like eighties. The laundry in the windows. Mm -hmm. the I, I think the laundry may have changed hands once or twice. Yeah. But I think it's been a long time. It's been there for a while. It must be a profitable business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, we need a laundromat because anytime somebody's washer or dryer goes off, I mean, you need somewhere you can go. No. So, you wouldn't yeah. believe I wouldn't how much money the laundromat is. Oh, I'm sure. I know. Car, washes right. and, car washes and laundry mats. Yeah. I mean, it's just, all right. Yeah, maybe not the cutest one on the square, but we do need know. one in the community, so. They pay the taxes, right? They pay taxes. They're well known. You know where to go. If I knew my washer was breaking, I know where That's to go. That's the only one in the town, right? Yeah, as far as I know. It's the only one I know. All right, if I'm all good, I'll make a motion to go home. I'll second. Mr. Sharma? What do we do? Yes. Just leave Mr. Here. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yes. Mrs. Fraser? Yes. Mm-hmm.